So I set my alarm for 7.45. I know that it's a Tuesday and it's usually my busiest day of the week when I'm off, but I set it for 7.45 so that I could sleep in after having driven for over five hours the night before. Now, I'm not the type of person to stay in bed and scroll through my phone, so I generally wake up pretty quickly and I get myself ready for the day. Now, the first part of the day for me is to make sure that my dog Luna is okay. And she knows the routine, she's four years old. She knows that as soon as I open the door, she's gonna run outside and do her business while I get her breakfast ready. And again, for her, it's really easy. Just two quick scoops of kibble, a bit of water in her bowl. And she's trained very well. She knows to lay down as soon as I snap my fingers and that she's not allowed to approach the bowl until I give her the okay. Now that Luna's taken care of, it's time to get ready for my Muay Thai class at nine o'clock. Anyone that's trained Muay Thai knows that you always wanna bring all of your equipment because you never know what they might throw at you for a class. And now that everything's packed up and the dog's taken care of, I figured I'd take a quick second and talk about the iPhone SE 2022. Oh yeah, really quick before I forget. So yes, it is using a recycled design for this year's iPhone SE 2022. However, the internals are brand new with an A15 bionic chip, the same chip that you'd find inside of the iPhone 13 line. Now on the back of the phone, you've got that single wide lens camera. It is capable of 4K, 24, 30, and 60 frames per second, as well as a wide range of the features that you find on the other newer iPhones. However, you are limited by that one single lens. On top of that, you've got the touch ID at the bottom instead of face ID. Uh, you do have 5G capabilities on this phone. Doesn't really matter for where I am in Ontario, Canada, but maybe wherever you are in the States, 5G is important to you. There is a bigger battery to support that 5G. And with the 815 Bionic chip, we can only assume that the battery is gonna be a lot more efficient. And then finally, sadly for some people on the front, we've got that 4.7 inch LCD display instead of the newer displays with ProMotion. But again, depending on who you are, that might not matter. Now, before we run even more late, let's get out of here. So at this point, I've been awake for about 40 minutes now. I've got my stuff all loaded up, hop into the truck and start making my way down to Redemption Muay Thai. Now to make this as realistic as possible, I throw in Redemption into the Google Maps app. I know how to get there, but the purpose of this is to show you what the battery life would be like if you were to be using this phone. And typically, a lot of us use our phones for navigation. So about 15 minutes later, I'm at Redemption. This place is like a second home to me with the amount of time that I spend here on a weekly basis. All right, so we're here at Redemption. I'm a little bit early for class, so I figured I'd take some time to talk about the iPhone SE and how I've actually set this up for the day. So I've actually had this phone for about a week now, exactly a week actually. And the reason why I've been using it for a week before making this video is to give the battery optimization time to actually learn my schedule and how I use the phone. I don't think it's a very fair test when most uh, tech reviewers will use the phone for a day or maybe two days and then talk about how poor or how well the battery performs when it's not actually had a chance to you know, be optimized to the person that's using it. So I've actually had pretty good battery life on this phone, as you can see, Hopefully it is, the autofocus won't pick up. So hopefully you can see that in the top corner there. Um, I'm at 100% battery still. I took it off the charger a little bit after I woke up. So I think at like 8.15, we can check that in just a little bit. Sorry about the focus. We can check that in just a little bit, but overall it's not been too bad. And as you can see, I used it, even though I know how to get to redemption, it's not gonna show it now, but. I used it just to simulate, you know, if someone bought this phone, used the map to figure out a 20 minute drive, how would the battery hold up? And it's still at 100% after that 20 minute drive to Redemption, or I might have started a little bit late, so it might have been only 12 or 15 minutes when usually it's a 30 minute drive. But I'll use it again on the way back just to sort of simulate, simulate that idea. Um, overall, live on the iPhone SE, but I don't want to be late for class, so I'm going to jump out of the car and get that started. So follow me inside. So 
Typically, a morning fighters class starts off with some moderate sparring, which means you want to make sure that you've got all of your gear on and ready for some serious impact. Now, sparring is usually followed up by some heavy pad work. You're going to do about three to four rounds of intense cardio hitting the pads. And I made sure to get mine done first because I really wanted to get some footage with the iPhone SE so that I can show you guys what it looks and sounds like in various lighting conditions. typically don't eat breakfast until after training so I make sure to get dressed as quickly as possible and get out of there because I am starving. Okay so finally done with Muay Thai. Uh, the time is now 11.24. I've shot a whole bunch of 4k footage on the iPhone SE and as you can see the battery percentage is at 88 percent i don't know if you're able to see that but it was at 88 percent after shooting a ton of 4k 60 um, a bunch of other shots that i took while i was in the gym so the next step is uh you probably can tell i haven't eaten yet so now usually what i do after class is i run i grab a coffee and then i go home and i make something to eat but i realize that at home i don't have a crucial ingredient to my favorite breakfast my usual breakfast so we're also gonna have to stop at Sobeys real quick to grab that before heading back home. So let's go. Driving a pickup truck is fun until gas is 175 a liter and it costs you over a hundred bucks just to put in half a tank. Probably can't see the meter, but over under on what you think it's gonna land on. 23 liters right now is 42 bucks. So let's see where it stops. 98, 86. So this has been my go-to breakfast for about six years now. I don't have it every single day, but I do have it very often. I don't know how healthy this would be considered because people out there have told me that there's too much sugar in this meal. However, I've always found it to be great. I find it to be filling and it definitely keeps me full for a good portion of the day. So this is when I'll get the majority of my scrolling done, catching up on the notifications that I missed from the night before. Uh, on Tuesdays, I have to do a post for the at technology page on Instagram. I usually follow up with a post on TikTok as well. You can see here, I take some time to play Everdale, make sure that I keep up my dailies. I like to play a lot of chess on my phone as well. So yeah, I just usually take this time to myself to sort of unwind after training and make sure that I've got myself set up for the day. This is also when I make sure to check what it is that I need to get done for the day. So I use TikTok as my checklist app just to make sure that I'm on track. And taking a look at my agenda, I saw that I'm supposed to call my barber and I totally forgot. Okay, let me know, cause I, I have to ref a game at 340. I gotta ref a basketball game at 340. So just let me know. So he told me that he'd get back to me in an hour and ended up calling me back in about five minutes saying I need to get to the barbershop now if I actually wanna get my hair cut. So I hop back in the truck, throw some Travis Scott on Spotify and make my way down. Now, anyone that has short hair and gets cut by a barber like this knows how therapeutic this is. This chair is so comfortable and it's a perfect time to continue to catch up on any scrolling that I need to do and just really take some time to unwind. So this is the quality on the front camera of the iPhone SE. You can see I just finished my haircut, did a nice quick time-lapse video 
with a different phone because I didn't want to kill the battery on this one. Um, unfortunately, the front camera of the SE can only do HD uh, 30 frames per second, so you don't get any other options. But overall, I still think that it looks pretty good, pretty sharp, does a good job with the uh, dynamic range and dealing with the light and everything like that. So overall, not too bad. Hopefully you can still hear my voice. Not sure how the mic is going to do, but I think that it is a pretty good camera. So now that we're done this, got to run back home, take the dog out for a walk and hopefully be done with all of that in time for refing the basketball games at 3.30. So at this point, I started feeling sluggish and realized that I haven't had my coffee yet. Hi, uh, can I please get a medium regular? Medium regular? Yep. That's it. I typically listen to a lot of audiobooks on Audible, so I throw up some David Baldacci for the ride home. Now, as I get home, Luna already knows what time it is, so she's waiting for me at the door for her walk. So we typically do a bunch of laps around the block before playing some fetch at the park to make sure that she runs out all of her energy. At this point, I know I've got at least 30 minutes of downtime. Luna joins me on the couch because she's exhausted. So I catch up again on Everdale just to make sure that everything's going well in my town. And I promise you, I'm not sponsored by Supercell. And finally, take a look at my post for the day and give you guys an example of the iPhone SE speakers. IPhone. This is the iPhone SE 2022 and surprisingly is really good. Before you start hating on its old design, just know that this phone has the exact same internal chip as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I follow that up by quickly scrolling on Twitter before heading out to go rep those basketball games. It's now 3.40. I took this off the charger at, oops, probably not gonna be able to see. I took it off the charger at um, 8.15, I think it was. Can't really see it, but it's at 46% after doing all that running around today. But anyways, the bell's rung. I gotta run inside and rep this game. Uh, maybe we can get a chance to look at my old classroom and my uh, old grad photos as well if we've got time to do it. So I'll see you guys in the gym. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys any of the refing for student confidentiality, but this is a look at our gymnasium. I was able to take a quick second to look at the graduation plaques and show you guys my grade 8 faculty photos. We're heading upstairs to what used to be my science lab, but is now a grade 8 homeroom. A quick stroll down memory lane as I take you guys to my favorite window in the entire school. I used to spend tons of time here because of the amazing view. From this window, you can see the Toronto skyline and clearly make out the CN Tower. However, it's very difficult to see when filming with the camera, but still check out that view. The basketball games ended up going a little bit longer than I expected. Actually, I thought it was gonna be two games and ended up being three. So it's now uh, 6.33 p.m. I've got 32% battery left. So I've come to my favorite place. Hopefully you can hear me. I've come to my favorite place to test out smartphone cameras. This is the graffiti wall near my house. So you can see a lot of it there and over my other shoulder over there. So the reason why I like coming here is just because of all the colors on the wall. You can kind of test out, you know, what the colors look like coming out of the camera. Um, so I'll probably take a couple more photos here, uh, a bit more of the 4K 60 shots, just so that you guys can see what that looks like. And then finally just debrief with the things that I wish were different with the iPhone SE 2022, even though, like I've been saying overall, um, I've really been enjoying this phone. So I'm going to go ahead and take some photos and then Get out of here. So we're back in the truck because it's extremely cold outside. So uh, breaking down this phone and what it is that I love about this phone and why I think that 
you know it wasn't a mistake by apple like everybody's saying so i've spent an entire day with this phone it's now 6 39 um it hasn't quite been a full 12 hours but it's definitely been you know a work day or a school day for a student trying to pick this phone up and i think at 429 dollars for a phone this size that is this capable where you know you're still getting that ability to have video shot in 4k 60 uh 4k 30 4k 24 you've got the whole range of hd footage that you can do you've got basically all the camera features except for the ones that rely on having um, different lenses. I think overall you're still gonna get great footage. You've seen the footage that I've shot today It's all been in my opinion pretty pretty crispy. I've gone between the SE and my iPhone 13 Pro Max for a lot of the footage that you've seen today And I think when you look at them side by side you probably yes notice a difference, but the difference between spending $429 and spending, you know, $1099 on a 13 Pro or Pro Max, that's a massive, massive range in between there. But for the quality that you get from this smaller device, you know, it's hard to beat. I really love the photos that come out of it. I love the home button and I love having that touch ID, like quick fingerprint just to get in. Everything is so nice. You're not worried about face ID. Do I got glasses on, a mask, whatever it might be where the shortcomings are and i think a lot of people will agree when it comes to these is the lcd screen doesn't look that great but when you consider the fact that you know most people that are going to be using this phone probably are used to lcd screens anyways and they're not coming from a high refresh rate screen that you'd get on an android phone or get on like the 13 pro max for example and so that has been one of my gripes is when I look at my 13 Pro Max and then come back to this phone, you definitely notice that lack of refresh rate on the LCD screen. But when I go ahead and use this for you know another five minutes, 10 minutes or so, then you totally forget that that was even a thing. I would say that's my biggest gripe with this phone is the screen. The LCD doesn't look the best. The animations don't look as snappy or crispy as you'd be used to on a flagship phone. But you gotta remember that this isn't a flagship. This is geared to be a budget phone and it's a very good budget phone in my opinion. If you get an Android phone at the same price of 429, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of things that this phone has. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go crazy on the use of the phone to get you know the highest um, screen on time possible, but I think this is a pretty accurate day to day. I was very busy. I went from place to place. I shot a lot of footage on my phone. I listened to a lot of music on my phone. Um, you know, I let people try it out, whatever the case might be, and I was very busy, and I'm still at 28%, not, oh, there we go. I'm still at 28% battery life, and it's 643 now, right? So I think, I think it's a really good phone. The only issue would be that I'm so used to the 13 Pro Max battery where, you know, I can go two days without charging my phone, whereas this one, I would have to charge it every day. And that, to me, is like, the definition of a first world problem you know you just buy a power bank and have it with you and now you've got a 429 phone plus a 29 dollars power bank and you're still worlds ahead in terms of savings uh where you would be if you bought a 13 or even a 12 or a aftermarket or sorry aftermarket a used um iphone 11 so that's pretty much it man hopefully you guys enjoyed kicking it with me for the day this is my first time ever doing a day in the life vlog style video so you know if you liked it please give me a thumbs up i would love to do more videos like this in the future i would love to review more phones in this same way in the future it was super fun so yeah that's it that's a day in the life with the iphone se 2022 and a day in the life with me showing tech so one last view of the phone and that beautiful black shiny apple over there and uh as always much love throwing up two of them and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace